Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Got another nerdy thrift video for you today, which is me just going around charity shops and trying to find as many awesome nerdy gaming related stuff as possible. In this episode, I find a ton of really cheap Xbox 360 games for prices that are way, way below what they actually would cost. I also found something that I haven't really seen before in a charity shop, and that is a joystick. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. So in our first charity shop now, and I found a bunch of, you know, a couple of Xbox 360 games, a couple of DS games, but nothing that overall caught my eye. I'm sure there were some bargains in there, but to be honest, I, I just don't really want this kind of like shovely wear type of thing that the Nintendo DS has a lot of. Uh, again, you draw studio, not really too bothered with that. The Wii Fit, DJ Hero, well, I'm not too bothered. The only thing I did see really that caught my interest was this biking game. Never heard of it, but yeah, I decided not to get it. And then a bunch of FIFA games. And also PlayStation Move <laughs> for the PS3. Okay, next up I found something a little bit unique, a little bit obscure. And this is a 3D plug and play scroll mouse, which isn't, you know, all that rare, but this is one designed by Serif, which are a company that specialize in design software like Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo. So yeah, it was really interesting to see, but I didn't decide to get it. Uh, looking past the random knickknacks and the uh, dog poop bags, of course. And I found this Raspberry Pi user guide. Now, I recently got a Raspberry Pi, and this guide is a little bit old now. I believe it's like 10 years old now. But it's, you know, the, the, the same principal thing. It's a Raspberry Pi, and yeah, I've been wanting a user guide. So this was fantastic for a pound. You know, what? I'm also finding a trend here when I go into charity shops. There is, there's always some kind of bizarre, random cat board game, and this is another example of them being photoshopped into a cityscape. In another chat shop now, in the book section, and I was kind of you know, browsing all through that kind of stuff that I'm not really interested in all that too much. And then, just perched on the top of the top shelf, I found this thing, which is the Godzilla Past, Present, Future graphic novel <laughs> so yeah of course i'm gonna get this it's godzilla i adore this character so yeah for a pound absolutely fantastic now this is what i was talking about in the intro this is a thrust master usb joystick when i first saw it i thought it was going to be so so expensive but i flipped over the price tag and it was reduced to five pounds and of course i'm gonna get it for that particular price I'm gonna take a chance on it, even if it doesn't work. And luckily it does. I've tested it out and everything seems to work. Fantastic. This is 18 quid at CEX. Yeah, I'm absolutely getting this. Can't believe my luck at finding this thing. And I'm gonna be doing some videos in the future with it. Next up, this is another thing that I mentioned in the intro. This particular charity shop and this particular set of shelves was an absolute gold mine in terms of things I could get from here. Now the top shelves, you know, a bit generic, privileged soccer, FIFA, that kind of stuff. I wasn't too interested. But as I went further and further down, I just found some really fantastic things. Now a lot of the things that I'm looking at here, I didn't get, but actual things that you can see around the things that I'm picking out, there's definitely some fantastic things. Like for example this, uh, I got this and this was two pounds. This for example, I think is like 20 quid in CEX. Sadly I did not get it because I didn't actually realize the price that it was. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of things here and I spent a lot of time trying to get stuff. I did try and go back to get the other stuff. I got my girlfriend to go, but sadly when she went back, the stuff that I wanted again, that I'd left behind, wasn't there. All right, next up, I decided to go to a car boot sale, and yeah, it was so ridiculous and muddy. I could not believe how bad that field was. <laughs> In fact, I had to throw my shoes that I'm wearing here today because yeah, they were just absolutely wrecked. I didn't really find all that much on that car boot sale, you know, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which in my opinion is a fantastic film, but I didn't really find all that much. 
there just wasn't a lot of people there because it had been raining recently and overall it wasn't really worth the visit. Although I did find a few random things and I'll talk about them now. I found this thing which is like a old fashioned projector type thing which was interesting, not exactly my cup of tea but you know it was quite a unique thing uh, on that car boot sale. Now I thought this was a uh, like toys to life thing and I, I think it was just like a broken one of them. I also found this CD plastic wallet which didn't have 25 wallets in them. Uh, it was pretty much empty. So yeah, not a whole lot there. Uh, you can see that it's so, so muddy. Uh, just a bunch of stuff in here. Again, not all that interesting. Top Gear was pretty cool, uh, but I'm not all that I'm not all that into DVDs anymore. I found this advanced photo paper, which is random. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect to find that. Then over on the other side, again, a lot of DVDs and some CDs and something I did wish I got was this Harry Potter VHS. <laughs> Completely unexpected. Now onto the most interesting thing of this particular car boot visit. This pink suitcase full of games. Now I was very excited about this entire thing. And looking back, I probably should have got a few more like Need for Speed Underground, but it was a little bit beaten up. But there were such cheap prices that, you know what? I could have just, you know, bought the lot for a couple of quid, to be honest. Um, but I didn't get a whole lot. In fact, I only got one here. It was uh, more brain training, which is something I did want. Uh, but I could have got, you know, Imagine Happy Cooking. I don't usually collect that kind of stuff, but because they were so, so cheap, yeah, I, I, I kind of, not regret looking back, but yeah, I could have got some more stuff here. I found this mystery item, and as you can see, when I crack it open, it's actually Halo 2 without a sleeve. And that was pretty cool. And then this thing as well, I probably should have got uh, Rocky 3 uh, on UMD. That would have been pretty cool to have. I did also find this PS3 camera, which, you know, isn't really worth much of anything, so I left it. And then just like a, you know, FIFA 10 game again. <laughs> I can't escape these things. Going through another random uh, box of stuff. And I found the snowman, which was a pound, but other than that, nothing really of interest. One last box on this car boot sale. And I found again a couple of FIFA games, probably some soccer. And then one last thing, which was very, very um, unique, I guess. I've never seen it before. WSC Real 08, the snooker and pool simulation. I, pff, never heard of it before, but it didn't have the peripheral with it. So yeah, I left it. Going back to a couple of charity shops now, and I found a couple of PSP games, all of which were ridiculously expensive, like the Scooby-Doo one, 11 quid. Not worth it at all. That thing is probably worth four or five pounds. Not getting that at all. A couple of Blu-rays, a couple of uh, DS games, one of which I've already got, one of which I wasn't interested in. Uh, Xbox 360, all that kind of stuff, a couple of PC games. I did find this, Napoleon Total War, Imperial Edition. I didn't get it, but for a pound, I probably should have. This is maybe worth my four or five pounds, something like that. I also found a big box uh, compilation hit list. I got this for a pound because I have another version of that with different games on. I also found Empire Total War, which again, probably should have got for a pound. Then I found this, X Beyond the Frontier, which is another big box PC game for two pounds. And I did get this because I want PC games, big box PC games. Last charity shop now, and I found this thing, which caught my attention straight away because it was the American cover. But this is actually a fake DS game. The first one that I've ever seen in a charity shop. And I got it anyway because it will be interesting to do a video based on, you know, differences between real and fake DS games. And this is the stuff that I got. I got that joystick, as I mentioned before. I got the Raspberry Pi guide. I got Godzilla graphic novel. Two DS games, one of which is fake. PlayStation 2 game, two big box PC games, and a bunch of Xbox 360 games. Some of which, which, are, which were very expensive in CX. Lightning Returns was £12 and Port Royal 3, I believe, is £18. And yeah, I got all those uh, Xbox games for £2. 
And yeah, that was another video in my Nerdy Thrifts series. I genuinely cannot believe how much awesome stuff I'm finding on these runs, and it's definitely something that I want to continue in the future. In any case, if you did enjoy this video and you want to continue on in this journey, then I would absolutely recommend like, commenting, subscribing, doing all that social media goodness, and as always, keep living that best nerd life.